there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, and today I'm going to show you how to paint our quick and easy Christmas gift tag um, using a pen and ink technique. It's very, very easy. So what I have here is a um, two and a half inch by four and three quarter inch piece of white watercolor paper. Uh, to make a tag, I'm going to snip off one corner, then I'm going to pick up that edge and I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to um, just cut along that same edge so I get a symmetrical tag or pretty darn close. Discard that and punch a hole. And then that will be for like whatever I want to put in there, whether it be ribbon or string or yarn or whatever. And now I'm using a waterproof pen. This is a mic Micron, which is a really excellent pen. Um, mine's kind of starting to run out of run out of ink, but what you're gonna do is make a wavy line. This is gonna be for our ribbon. And then you're gonna make some vertical lines from the bumps of the ribbon. If you want to watch me do this and then try it, that might be a good idea. And then we're going to make parallel lines to the first lines that we drew and that gives us a beautiful ribbon. And I have a nice large flat area in the front if I want to stamp or write Merry Christmas on it or Happy Holidays or whatever. Well, I forgot a few of those bumps, but see, that's all there is to making a ribbon. My pen skipped a little bit, but that's all right. All right, now in some of these um, areas where you can see the ribbon's kind of tucked behind, I am going to do a little shading. This is called cross hatching, and you do that a lot when you're doing pen and ink. Just in a few of these, um, these areas that are tucked in behind. It'll just make our, it'll make the painting job easier. And now to draw the holly, I'm going to draw first berries. I'm going to put three. And you could put a little sh shading on those if you want to. I like to have some curvy lines if I'm going to shade these. And then I'm just going to put a little circle in there, which I will leave white for a little bit of a sparkle. Um, now I'm going to make the uh, holly leaves. And I'm going to make them kind of big so I have room to get in there and paint. Nice big chunky fat leaves. And you could put as many as you want. I think I'm going to stick to three on this one. There. And now we're just going to use um, one shade of red and one shade of green. I'm going to use Hooker's Green and I'm going to use Alizarin Crimson. And um, I'm going to use a, a number five round for my berries. And um, I'm going to use a number four flat for my, um, for the ribbon. I'm going to do the berries first. It doesn't matter what you do, <laughs> but I just uh, felt like doing the berries first. You can use whatever brush you have that's comfortable though. Um, I think my favorite brush is number 10 round and I could almost paint anything with that. So, you know, get, get used to the brushes you have, try them out, see what does, and tags are perfect way to try out your brushes. Perfect way to try out a te technique like this pen and ink. It's just like a very no, um, commitment type of project. If it turns out awful, well, you know what, it's just a tag and chances are you could still use it. And um, if you don't want to use it, if you're like, oh, I just, I'm not happy with that, you could chuck it in the trash and nobody has to know. And you've got a little experience under your belt, so you don't lose anything other than maybe a little scrap of, of paper. And, you know, that's, it's worth the risk, I think. And I'm just painting in my ribbon here. Go, trying to be careful, trying to keep it in the lines, but you know what, we have the definition from our pen and ink. So if it, even if it goes out of the lines, you still have that definition. I think this is an excellent, like I just did there. <laughs> I think this is an excellent technique for beginners because I think a lot of times you start in watercolor and you get frustrated because you start off with a great idea and then, or and maybe even you start off with a good pencil sketch, but then you lose your definition when you start to paint and it's frustrating. So here you're going to keep those pen lines, those nice black pen lines, no matter what you do as far as paint. Even if you just like splattered on color, you're still going to end up with those, um, with those pen lines. So it's a great technique. I urge, um, I urge everyone to try it at least once and a tag is a perfect way to do that. So I am uh, grabbing a little hooker's green, which is very similar to sap green, but it's not as earthy. It's not as brown. Um, but I think it would go with most traditional packaging. But if you feel like you really like more of a, like an avocado color, Try the sap green. That's, that looks very good with vintage Christmas packaging. Just fill in those shapes. That's it's like it's like you're using a coloring book. It's really um, really easy peasy and perfect for a Christmas tag. 
So yeah, I think I'm going to be spending my time inside today and doing some painting, maybe a couple just quick and easy tag tutorials for you. Hope you like them. <laughs> and then uh, I thought maybe I would use the edge of an old credit card, scrape a little bit of definition in there. That is if I can find my old credit card. Here it is. Just uh, I could scratch in a little bit of definition because I didn't put any veins other than that center vein. But that's up to you. And you know what? You can always go in and add more pen and ink afterwards when you're done. I just sign my initials and the date and I call it a day. And when that's dry, I'll put some ribbon in it so I have a little uh, ribbon tag. I actually like it this way. You could do it either way. Um, whichever way is up for you, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any requests, hey, leave them. I can't promise I'll get, get to you uh, right away, but I do try to get the requests that I get in done. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.